So welcome. I'm gonna make a quick video using a um, graphing calculator uh, called Desmos that's found on the um, well, it's found on the internet. So all you have to do is when you get onto Google, just type in Desmos, and I'll even go back, and you'll see all you have to do is type in Desmos. <laughs> Type in Desmos, and sure enough, Desmos Beautiful Free Math comes up. Start graphing. You can actually create an account, um, which is useful because you can save your graphs. Now, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to do some regression. And so what you have to do is you have to create a table. And let's say you had some data, and it looks something like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And you had 12... 14, uh, 15, 15.8, and 16. All right. So there's a couple of things I kind of need about Desmos. If you put this on, you'll see it says it has little green dots there. Well, I'm going to go to my, I don't see anything right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to my toolbar. And it says graph settings. And I'm gonna, on my x axis, I'm going to change this from 0 to 10. And step, I'm going to go by 1s. And my y axis, I'm going to go from I'm gonna go from 0 to 20 because my va y values were between 12 and 16 so you could actually you know obviously change that up and I went by twos and now if you take a look you can see that there's a nice those are my points um, I actually like using projector mode as well but obviously you don't have to here's x equals 1 y equals 12 x equals 2 y equals 14 uh, you can add a label let's say that this was um, time and let's say that this was uh, emails uh, answered all right so five minutes all right so now you can see well that doesn't really make sense does it because I have 15.8 emails I'll change that. Let's say, let's say this was 16, and this was 18. All right. Now, I want to write a, um, I want the linear regression of this, and so here's why. It took me a little while to figure this out. But you type in y1, and y1 has a, is a five element list, and then I'm going to do shift and the little squiggly sign, uh, similar sign, and it's AX1, AX1 plus B, and when I do that, I get my linear regression formula, and you'll see, here's the, um, here, here's my line of best fit, and it's A is 1.4, and B is 10.8. So this really means that if I were to do one more, uh, if I were to do an expression, and I were to type in exactly what I see, Y equals A is 1.4, X plus 10.8, you'll see it's the same exact line as my purple line, um, which is why you can't actually see it. If I get rid of that, you'll see it goes down. If I put in the 8 again, it's the same line. So it's nice because it does it for you. It doesn't tell you that it's 10.8. Uh, y equals 1.4, x plus 10.8. They also have a residual plot. I'm not going to get into the residual plot right now. Well, maybe I will. You can't actually graph the residual plot, and it comes up for you. And if you scroll down, the residual plot uh, is kind of neat. You can see that this point here 
is just a tiny bit below the line of best fit. This point here is a tiny bit above. This point is pretty much on the line. This point is just below, and this point is just below above. Um, residuals give you an idea of whether or not you should be able to use a uh, linear correlation. Um, I'm going to do one more, and I'm going to do y1 is approximately ax1 uh, squared plus bx1 plus c. And the reason why I did this is because it ends up being a, oh, well, it should end up being a quadratic. Uh, regression, but it's not. And you can see the reason why it's not is because a equals zero, so therefore it stays as a linear. In any event, um, just wanted to do this. You can also see that your correlation coefficient is 0 0.9899, which is very, very high. Uh, super easy to do. Remember, here is how you um, set your boundaries. It actually even reset them for me, which is kind of nice. Um, so you can put in your data and then graph it. You don't need to have these both on the same graph, so you can do this independently. Gives you your R values, gives you your residuals. Uh, it's pretty awesome. And um, that's it. Oh, actually, there's one other thing I want to show you. If you don't like these lines, you can do minor grid lines and axis numbers. Um, axis numbers I highly recommend keeping there, but the minor grid lines you don't necessarily need. You can put in your arrows. Um, and that's it. Super useful, Desmos. Uh, very, very handy. Hope this helps.